As Steve Harvey says, if you want to be successful, you have to jump. There's no way around it. If you're going to be safe, you'll never soar. And right now, that's why I'm jumping and getting rid of this house. It was 2014. I was a young attending doctor thinking that the next thing for my life would be a new house. So I remember when the house just got on the market. I came open house and I stepped in and I looked at the view and I said, man, this house is mine. Three bedroom, three bath, beautiful views, over 5,000 square feet. And I put an offer on it. And by the end of that week, I got it. In my mind, I felt like I made it. I finally got what I wanted to be happy. This is dream house. Fast forward five years later. I really got a chance to enjoy the house. I have so many memories in this house, but it did leave me feeling not particularly fulfilled. You see, it wasn't about the house or the views or anything like that that got me. It was that part of me that felt like, you know, maybe I needed something external to make myself feel happy, something outside of me to make myself feel worthy. And now in 2019, I'm beginning to see that this is not the piece that's going to ultimately fulfill who I am. So that's why I'm getting rid of it. I'm selling this house to make room to grow into new and better things. Make room to make more content for you. Make room to open up that clinic that makes people the best versions of who they are. So I'm really, really excited to step into a new place, step into a new feeling, step into a place that comes from a place of fulfillment right here. Because at the end of the day, where fulfillment is, is not in our heads and not in the things that are outside of us. They live in here. And this is where we have to come from. This is what we have to practice. And before I get rid of this place, I just want to show you a little bit about what this house looks like. So come with me. So this is the kitchen area. Excuse the mess, we are in packing mode, but uh, I use this guy every morning, my uh, blender. So if you're like me, you wake up in the morning, make sure you hydrate, get yourself a lot of water. And I like myself a little coffee or tea with some good fats such as coconut oil or MCT oil. Throw in a little collagen protein. That's able to get you enough energy and fuel to start your morning off without bumping your insulin levels. All right, so here we are outdoors in the deck. When I first stepped into this deck and I looked out on that view, I said, this is my house. You can see the entire Silver Lake Reservoir just a beautiful scene and just off to the side there you can actually see the Hollywood sign and the Griffith Observatory. For those of you who have followed my videos you could recognize this view back here because I do a lot of filming back here. You can see here there's actually three levels to the house. I'm standing on the top level here. We're standing on the deck. Right down here is the next level where I love to throw lots of parties. It looks out into the lake and then beyond that is this huge garden. It's like my meditation area. It's where I like to plant. It's where I like to go for zen. Right back here is the living room. You see the TV behind me. And right off of the corner there is my karaoke uh, machine. That's right. That's where I do my care therapy sessions, either by myself or with some friends. Remember, singing or doing those things that light you up, boom, points for your health. So here we are on the first floor of the house. And one of the things I decided to put into it was sort of a timeline of where I came from. Uh, so if you can step in a little closer, you'll see that I put pictures of my childhood. You know, if you guys don't know, I was born in Vietnam and I was a boat refugee. So I was actually living on this boat for eight months. There was over 2,000 refugees. We were crammed like sardines and I nearly died of dysentery. And here's another picture of the boat from the outside. And then after that boat, we were in a Philippine refugee camp for another three months. So here are pictures of that. It's pictures of my dad, my mother, me teaching me how to read. And I love this picture here. This is a picture of me right outside our wooden house uh, at the time, just with a sense of wonder, with a sense of play, with a sense of, I can't wait to see what's happening next. And that's a picture when we had just gotten sponsored to America. So you can see my dad holding a briefcase. My mom's happy. Here I am with my finger pointing. Here we go to America. And here's that place that I'm able to live my American dream. 
So this is where I do the majority of my work. It's a little bit messy right now, but I got large screens to be able to do radiology, look at medical images, but also to be able to create some of the content you, you get to see on YouTube. So this is the study area. You might have seen a few interviews conducted right over here. This is a neat little bookshelf. A friend created it for me, and it's actually kind of like a tree. So this is like the tree of knowledge. Uh, this is where I keep some of my books. Now, a lot of them have been packed away already, but a few of my favorites. Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. Uh, one of my favorite books that kind of got me on my personal development journey, uh, The Code of the Extraordinary Mind by the founder of Mind Valley, Vishen Lakhiani. Um, other, fa Ooh, other favorites I have here, Start With Why, Simon Sinek. Um, and yeah, so leaders are readers. Uh, so I encourage you guys, if you have any space for books and knowledge or a place that you like to go in to really learn about the techniques and tools to make you the best version of yourself, highly recommend you have a space like this. So I'm glad you had a chance to take a look at this house before I sell it. I'm just so happy for this next phase of my life to be able to follow my intuition, to be able to move away from my head into my heart. So I'm not getting rid of my house because it's bad to have external things. It's just a shift of my priorities now. You know, it used to be I valued significance and I valued certainty. I know without a doubt that those of us who spend the work and the time to really master our internal state, master our emotions, master fulfillment from the inside, that everything outside will come to fruition. We will have more of what we want on the outside when we could really master the best version of ourselves inside. And to all of you out there waiting to start your dream, start that business, start that relationship, take that leap of faith. Move from your head to your heart and you it.